Jackson, so now the trout, nigga. When you wake up before you brush your teeth, you grab your scrap, nigga. Hey guys, good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about sound fonts. Now a lot of people have been asking me, you know, for sounds, for drum, for, for percussion and, you know, plugins and all of that. And I'm going to make a couple of videos to talk about all of these sounds. But um, today I want to talk about sound fonts. So I'm going to um show you the sound fonts that i have and then i'm going to show you where you can download all of them i'm going to upload all of them for you guys to download so um yeah i'm just gonna yeah here's my sound font folder and i have a lot of sound fonts as you can see so i'm going to go through them and then i'll show you where to download all of these ones in one package yeah so what, what is a sound font the sound font is just um a file it's just a file that contains sounds and the good thing about sound fonts is that they're easy to get and they're mostly free of charge and another thing is that there's a lot of sounds like sometimes you have just one sound font that contains like a hundred sounds so yeah it's it's nice to use sound fonts because they have uh, a lot of sounds and then um, another good thing about sound fonts is that they don't um, weigh down your computer so if you have a, a slow computer you might want to use sound fonts instead of using plugins like Nexus because a plugin like Nexus will slow down a, a slow computer really bad. But if you have a slow computer, you can use sound font. You can use a lot of sound fonts and still not, you know, still not have your performance suffer. Yeah. So those are the advantages of having sound fonts. But what about the disadvantages? Uh, the sound quality might not be the best sometimes. And if you want more modern sounds, then you might have to download plugins like Nexus because that's very popular and then also if you're using Fruity Loops 12 you might you have to use the 32-bit version because the 64-bit version does not support sound fonts or does not support the um, inbuilt Fruity Loops sound font player yeah so if you want to play sound fonts with the 64-bit version of Fruity Loops you have to download an external uh, a third-party 64-bit compatible sound font player yeah <laughs> i hope you guys um understood that so let's see what sound fonts i have here this one is called 808 set and um it has one what's that a, a patch yeah it has one patch and Yeah, um, yeah, it's just a simple plugin. Let's see, nine oh nine set. Yeah, you got a few more sounds. You can use these to to make a sound, to make a beat. You can just like, let's see, if we have that, that tempo. Yeah, what, what do we have? Brush kit. Let's see. Brush kit. Nice hi hats. Yeah, so what else do we have? We have, um, Chris precaution. Let's see what that is. Oh yeah, this one has like nice shakers and stuff. Like if you're doing Afro beats, if you're doing Afro beats, this will be really helpful. Yeah, let's see what we have. What's this one called? Giant sound font drum kit. Let's see. New. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah that was a pretty interesting one it has pretty big sounds and it has two patches let's see what the other one is yeah um each is acoustic percussion Yeah, um, let's see. Um, Rokus acoustic drums. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's see, record something. <laughs> oh, that was just complete rubbish yeah but let's see sj drums what is this one uh, sj drums standard drums killer drums and um Celtic drums okay let's see you know, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna zip all of this and put it in a, a zip file and upload it. So when you download it, you can go through and take a look for yourself. So I think we've seen enough drums. But what is this vintage dreams waves? Hmm, sounds interesting. Let's see. Yeah, but we took a, we've seen a lot, wait, wait a minute, where did I go? Yeah, we've seen a lot of the drum sounds, so now let's take a look at some instruments. Mm, this is one of the sound phones that I use the most. It's called, um, let's see, 103.5 MG real font version 2.1 bank. All right. Um, it has everything. It has pianos. It has um, electric pianos. Um, let's see what else. It has Rhodes pianos, it has xylophones. And it has marimbas as well. Yeah, those sounds are very useful for doing Afrobeats. And it has like guitars as well. And um, let's see, it has bass. Right, let's see, what else do they have? They have um, a whole lot of instruments. They have strings as well. Mm. Um, they have slow strings. Let's see what else do they have. Oh yeah, and also, one thing that you can do to improve the sound quality of sound phones is to add a reverb. So if you, if you click here and then click assign free mixer track, and then you put on a reverb on the plugin. Let's see. Yeah, 
You see, it makes it sound bigger and better. You see, when you put a, a reverb on the plugin, it makes it sound bigger and better. Yeah, so let's see what else do they have. They have um, synth strings. You know, you can use this to do like a simple dance hall beat. Yeah, and let's see. Um, yeah, trombone. Yeah, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we have a bunch of sounds, guys. I don't think... Um... Yeah, and also another thing is when you use sound fonts, um, if there's too much bass in the sound font, it might um, disturb the, the other frequencies. It might disturb your drums and your bass your bass guitar. So a lot of times you would want to drop the bass off. Yeah, you like to, you want to take off the bass so it sounds clear in the mix. And then another thing you can do is to add a um, a delay. So like without the delay, it's it's like this. But with the delay, it's like no. Let's see, replace, delay. Yeah, so you can just turn that down. Yeah, so. Yeah, so with some EQ, uh, some delay and some reverb, you get really good sounds. And then you have also have harps. Let's see. Yeah, you have like. Yeah, you can, you know, most of the sounds are very good for Afro beats. So let's see what else do they have? What else do they have? They have like. strange sounds yeah what else do they have they have um a banjo not my favorite instrument um Yeah, this is just, I mean, this particular sound is like the perfect sound if you're doing Afro beats. Yeah, well, guys, um, I have a bunch of sound fonts here. I have all kinds, all kinds, man. What is this? Yeah, and... Um, Let's see, this is a guitar pack. I wonder what's inside. Well, it's a lot of guitars, guys. Just look at the number. Wow, look at the number. And this one even has like strums. Wow. Wow. 
Well, guys, I've never seen this. It's pretty interesting, you know. You know, sometimes you may just want to go through all of these sounds just to get inspiration, even if you don't end up using them. Yeah, so um, I have a zip file. I'm going to upload it and then give you guys the link. So in this video, if you just go to the description and click on the link, you can download the video, uh, download the file, unzip it into your sound fonts folder. You should, you know, in your folders, you should have one called sound fonts. So if you unzip that folder into your sound fonts folder, then when you open it, they're gonna show up. Then you just drag it up and then like have fun. And don't, don't forget to put on some effects if you, if you think the sound is too dry, like compare, listen, and then without the effects, how boring. You see, so guys, thanks a lot for watching and um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye. Listen,